What's up guys, welcome to your 17th XHTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be building a basic website and applying some sweet CSS properties to it. So let's go ahead and get started and build just a starter quick little website. Um, put a header at the top, h1, h1 and make this website Bucky's Bacon Wagon. Just imagine a wagon with a bunch of bacon in it and there you go. And now let's just go ahead and add a paragraph. Actually tighten that up a bit, that's what she said. And we'll just add one paragraph, that's good enough for now. And uh, we'll just put like best on this side of the, best bacon on this side of the Mississippi, explanation point and space. So let's go ahead and make a, copy this and you know, we just need some text. So just fill that in like that so we have actually a paragraph that's more than one line so we have a header h1 and a paragraph so if we save that and looked at it right now here is what we have but this website although you know the idea is good a bacon wagon sounds like a pretty good idea the website needs some work so let's go ahead and uh, let's change the color of this and also make this a little more readable so what I want to do first is we need to add that style sheet that we talked about last time so style equals or excuse me I'm getting ahead of myself type equals text slash CSS and remember you also need the ending style tag now everything in between here is going to be you know one of the rules so the first thing we want to work with is that header I mean this plain black header I mean we can do better than that so let's go ahead and make a rule to change the color on that so the element we're working with is h1 and in our curly braces the property that we want to change is color now before I told you guys that you can just make it something like red and that's good so let's go ahead and refresh this and now it's red but what if you're saying well everyone has red on their web page I want mine to be a little different I want mine to be the color of bacon so what you can use aside from just keywords like red blue green is you can actually use something called RGB value now if you don't have Photoshop because that's where I use mine um, you can go to pretty much to any website or go to Google and type in RGB values and it'll give you a list of RGB values but whenever I'm looking for a specific color on my website here's what I do I go in the Photoshop and I click this thing called a color picker and I make sure that I'm working with only web colors and I can scroll down to the color that I'm looking for and highlight over it and then I just copy this and this is the RBG value um, that stands for red blue and green so what I want to stress is not only do you have to use keywords but you can also use RBG as well and anytime you do that you go ahead and put the pound sign and then paste that six digit color in there so now if we go ahead and save this and refresh it instead of red we get this brown dark brown cooked burnt bacon looking color so that's a little better um again if you're just building a basic website then the keyword is fine but anytime you want like a really specific color then you need to use that RBG value so I just want to tell you guys that you have more options than you know just the colors you know in your head so aside from this I mean our Bucky's bacon wagon is looking brown and it's looking pretty beautiful but you may say alright this paragraph right here this isn't really readable to the user maybe these lines are too close together or maybe you just want to space them out so we can fill this website a little better so anytime you want to space out the lines you need to use a property called line height so let's go ahead and first tell CSS that we're going to be working with our paragraph we'll do that by typing P and in our curly braces go ahead and type line height as the property and now we can set this equal to a percentage by default it's at hundred percent right now so if you want to space them out a little bit go ahead and type like hundred and thirty percent like that and now add your semicolon at the end let me save it and let me refresh this in front of you and you guys can see when I refresh what happens to the spacing let me refresh and I didn't save it or something line height hundred and thirty percent looks good and okay I must have like 
Okay, let's try this one more time. There we go. So I changed it to 150%, and as you can see, the line height grew. Or, well, I mean, I can't even explain it as well. I can just show you. So let me uh, change this to like 170. 170 is good enough. And I'll show you guys one more time what happens. Right like that. So what happens is you get more space in between your lines, a.k.a. line height. So, you know, I'm not going to explain to you guys what line height means because I just showed you. But anyways, I usually like somewhere around 125, 130%. So, I mean, let me go ahead and refresh this. And it makes it more readable than it did by just having a default paragraph. So, that is the basics of how to change color. Remember, take away from this tutorial, not only can you use you know just common colors like red blue green you can also use RBG value and last thing you can use something called a hexadecimal value I think that's how you say it but don't ever use that because no one ever does that and again with line height anytime you want to change the line height this is the property and change it to a percentage of different than what it is to make it more readable so that is two basic property values I want to show you guys and you know these might not be the most common properties that you want to change on your website but I just wanted to illustrate the point and I just wanted to go over CSS again so hopefully the idea of what element you want to change and what you want to change to is sticking in your head now so now that you understand this concept of basic style sheeting um, we can move on to the next tutorial so thank you guys for watching don't forget to watch the next tutorial and I guess I'll see you then